I'm Ryan. And I'm Daniel. And we're from Fit for a King, and you're watching Forever Loud. It is our first time to download. We're very excited. We're keeping our eyes on the ground and where we're walking. <laughs> it's a great time. Yeah, we're, we're it's super- It's a muddy time, good muddy time. We're super pumped. You'll have to forgive us. We just had a 19 hour drive here, so we're not quite awake yet, so. Apparently not very well because I brought one pair of shoes and they're white. So that was a really bad, bad decision. So far it had paid off, but Honestly, this is probably the nicest weather I've ever experienced in the UK because we're always here in the winter. Oh, we did. Uh, that's what I was going to say. We did slam dunk last year. Oh, and that, that was in the summer. That's nice. But every other time we've been to Europe, UK, uh, it's always been in the winter. So I will take summer touring over here all always over winter touring. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. This feels like the spring or the fall yeah, in America. Awesome. It was amazing. Way better than we expected. Like lots of sold out shows and it just made us really excited to keep coming back to Europe. It really showed that it, it all the work has been worth it because there's a lot of times you do festivals or shows and you're not making very much money and you don't, you're spending so much to come over and you're like, is this even worth it? And that tour doing so well kind of like affirmed all that hard work, like keep doing it, it'll pay off. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's our first real headliner over here and uh, yeah, it, like, like uh, Kirby was saying, it, it definitely exceeded our expectations. So looking forward to continuing to, to grow out here. And yeah, we, it's been awesome. Oh yeah, we um, uh, Crystal Lake is another one of those bands that we, uh, I was talking to YD the other yeah. day and I was like, dude, we've done this on three continents together now. It's crazy. So yeah, it's been really fun to just see your buddies all around the world. And like Ireland, uh, it's our first time there, but it's also like Eras and I'd imagine it's Crystal Lakes. Yeah and uh, Alpha Wolves probably too. Uh, so it's cool to get to not just travel the world and play with your friends, but to experience new places yeah. with your friends too. Very, they're so good live. We won't have to play during them this time. Yeah, we so. had to play during Parkway Drive set at Nova Rock. <laughs> so that was a bummer because I could hear them while we were playing and it was so hard to not just look at their stage while we were on stage. Yeah, the show was, our show was good, but I think we just wanted to watch them. So excited to be able to see um, I think it'll be an interesting set. No production, yeah. like I think it's only like 25 minutes. And we were only, so. we were supposed to tour with Parkway Drive in the States, uh, but it was one of the COVID casualties. Yeah. So that tour never happened, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's something we've known about for a while, but I guess, yeah, cat's out of the bag now. Um, it seems to be going really well. They're playing gigantic shows and he's ripping on bass. So it's, I, I'm sure he's having the time of his life. Yeah, I mean, like Dan said, we've known for a while and we're just happy that Bob's out touring again. Our schedule is so rigorous with touring and stuff. It was really hard for him to keep up with ours. A day to remembers like they, they do gigantic tours, but they don't do as many <laughs> tours as we do. Yeah. But he still writes with us, still goes to the studio with us, still has the same role within the band. It just that touring schedule worked out so much better for him and all the data remember guys are super nice and cool yeah. uh, they were both amazing they were um, i want to do more legs yeah we do want to do like maybe an international leg would be cool but yeah the prada guys are all awesome we had a great time shows were incredible some of the biggest shows we've had yeah. in our career so yeah it was awesome honestly in person brendan is like a big sweetheart pretty normal i played we but... played some magic with him he's yeah. pretty quiet yeah honestly off stage uh he, he leaves it all on the he leaves it all on the court yeah that's what I was... you know it's like uh it's almost funnier that people don't understand that it's a bit and um yeah i think that it, it it just makes everything that that guy says and even does on funny. stage or on Twitter, yeah, just even more hilarious. So. Yeah. I'd say a lot more music. We have another single that'll come out probably in the next couple months. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a new record we're going to finish up at the end of this year, and it'll probably be out. It will for sure be out sometime next year, not positive exactly when, hopefully the first half. Yep, but, and then uh, a lot more lot more touring. We yep, have a, a pretty more. big tour that... Um, I imagine we'll announce relatively soon. Um, in, in Europe. In, in Europe, UK. like January, yeah. February. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be sick. 